Hey guys, welcome back to the arena. Here for another day for some more grinding for ladder. Um, still in Platinum 4 and been really happy with this deck here for Mono White Tokens. So if you're new to my channel, thanks so much for stopping by. And if you do end up liking my content, please consider subscribing and maybe sharing it with a friend. Um, for my returning viewers, thank you guys so much again for coming back and supporting me. And I do want to give a special shout out here to my members. So thank you guys for becoming members and helping support my channel. It really does mean the world to me. If you would like to become a member and gain access, uh, early access to my videos for as little as $1.99 a month and help support the channel, here's exactly how you do that. If you would like to become a member and help support my channel, you can do so. Just click on the join button right next to where it says subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Um, or if you would like to just support my channel just on a one-time basis, you can also click the super thanks button uh, here right on the, uh, also right under the banner here for the video. So these are both great ways to support the channel. I really appreciate you guys and I couldn't do this without you. So thank you guys so much again for your consideration. All right, let's get into some games. Okay, so yeah, no new, no new changes here to the deck. It's been working great. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, jump in. If you do want to see earlier iterations um, of this deck and kind of the, uh, the journey, I've got a link in the description for the deck list and the playlist so you can kind of see its evolution. And uh, yeah, let's jump in. But I like where it's at right now with just kind of a bit of a lower curve, a little bit more explosive starts. Um, opening hand looks great. Could use a second source of white. But other than that, feels pretty good. Yeah, I really could use another mana here. Okay, a nice pickup. So if we're up against Azori's control, like I suppose it's possible they could play lockdown this turn. Maybe they're just trying to milk it for a little bit more. So I think with that in mind, I'd rather play Evangelist over hop to it. I mean, if hop to it resolves, then we're, then we'll have, um, you know, they won't be able to just get rid of all the tokens with one spell other than a counter. So there could be a potential benefit there, but if they have like lockdown, which I think is a decent chance, I think this is, this is a slightly safer play. And then if they use removal on the token, that's fine. We lose a little bit of damage, but um, are a little bit uh, better set up against lockdown. Okay, and they just ended up countering it. That's fine. Now we're getting into range of turn five board wipe. So kind of with that in mind, I think I'd rather go inspector um, into reinforcements at their end of turn, just to play around it a little bit. I guess we could play reinforcements now if they want to like hold up counters. 
it's not a bad idea, honestly. And if they like wipe out their Sphinx, hmm. I guess the downside is if they do have lockdown, it's pretty awkward. Yeah, I think we pass. All right, we can play this in response just so they don't get, uh, so we don't have more cards in hand. Still a very nice pickup for them. Yeah, so now we just go case, take out their Beza, We'll lose something, but I think that's fine. Trying to decide if we want to play Hop to it or Evangelist next turn. I think, I guess I don't think it matters a whole lot. Probably Hop to it. And I think we probably want to do it pre-combat. Actually, I guess there's a pretty small chance they get rid of the clue, so maybe we just push, see what they do. I uh, don't think I want that on top. I guess if they're planning to play Horned Lock Whale next turn, we're probably a little bit better off with Hop to it. Because we can push four. Uh, I guess with Evangelist we can fly in the air. So maybe Evangelist is slightly better here. Like if they want to tap out for Hornlock Whale, we can then get in for two. Beza is pretty good. So now I guess we probably set up Warden plus Virtue. Question is, do we main phase this? Just to play around potential counters. Um, 
Not sure. Yeah, I guess so. I think I, I think I don't want to get this blown out, so I'm okay with playing at main phase. It's a nice pickup. Okay, so they're just looking to board wipe here. Not really sure what's going on. Oh, I get it. They're just trying to draw a card. That makes sense. Yeah, there's the lockdown. Ugh, gross. It's really nice timing on that lockdown. So yeah, I think we just go for another turn of setup here with another hop to it. Ooh, invasion. Okay, that's terrifying. <laughs> wow. They're pushing 18 next turn. If we go case, get rid of one of their two twos, they're still pushing 16 on the swing back. So I think we have to hop to it again. But I think we full send here. I think we just dropped to five. Yeah, unfortunately. Okay, that was a nice pickup. So now we can push in for one in the air and then virtue. Yeah, with the horde lock will though, I mean that's probably gonna do it. Or if they have another counter. That will also do it. <laughs> Alright.
Yeah, that lockdown definitely hurt quite a bit. The invasion was really good for them. Yeah, that invasion of New Phyrexia, man, that was awesome. All right, opening hand looks good. Nice turn one, turn two setup. Want to lead out here with the Warren Guard? I think just in case we potentially draw into uh, Inspector. Okay, didn't, but that's fine. We want to go for some land here for sure to get hop to it set up even if we miss we've got reinforcements but if they take out one of our guys then we'll be short by one which would really suck hopefully they just like develop and like pump could also just go for case i think we just want to go reinforcements into knight errant Potential downside here is if they have like the shock in response and they use it in response to reinforcements. I think we still go for it. Oops. Definitely a nice pickup. Like Heartfire Hero is their money card. If they they can make it into like an X5. So I think we just block on Swift Spear. Hopefully they can't like just get us in one turn here. I guess if they have the the sack guy they can do it. Because then it'll hit us for another 14. Looks like they might have it. Yeah, that's too bad. So yeah, maybe we should have just respected it and just like killed it with case a turn ago. That's probably what we should have done, honestly. Like the double hit is so nasty. Yeah, I'm always never sure if I should like run out inspector or officer there. I guess we could have pushed with officer. Now we'll just set up for virtue.
I don't think this this uh, actually lizard deck doesn't run too much pump, so I think we could potentially. Oh, never mind. We can't do virtue. I forgot. Ah, oh. <laughs> forgot we can't cast it off the Lupin Flyers. That was definitely a misplay. Uh, oh well. Still a little bit short of Knight Errant, but we can go Reinforcements plus Officer. We would have had it if we'd played this last turn, so that was definitely a big mistake on my part. Could also just go for Evangelist here. But yeah, I think we just want to set up. I think we just take it here and just want to set up for Knight Errant. Problem is now they take Knight Errant. Although if they take it, like we've still got Case, so that's decent. Unfortunately, we cannot play case because we've got double loop and flower. These are really, I think I gotta shave a couple of these from the deck. They're just too too much minimal value or not very much value for a lot of unfortunate interactions here. Okay, finally a basic planes. That was super helpful. So now we can at least set up case. I think we want to get rid of Hired Claw. It can become a 2-3, kind of annoying.
And I think this is the guy that flips up and does three damage to face. Unless they pump it. Okay, so if we full send, I mean, we're going to have to do loyalty, so we might as well just full send here. Yeah. All right, nice to gr grab a win there. A uh, couple misplays. Um, I think that, yeah, in light of kind of how awkward that draw was with the land, probably going to end up shaving at least one copy of the Lupin Flower. But yeah, um, just got to get more comfortable with the deck, get some more reps in. Let's take a look at the stats. Okay, so yeah, today's games weren't so great. Ended up going one and two. Um, overall, the deck is still 68% win rate, 79% win rate on the play, and 61% on the draw. So total of 25 wins and 12 losses. So overall, I am still very happy with the deck. But yeah, I think maybe... Fixing the land a little bit there would help. Um, and then just kind of me getting used to the deck and how it plays out. Um, I think especially against like Azorius Control, just kind of learning how to do that match. But at any rate, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.